so it's just miracle back with another video today we are on envato elements because we're looking for a grand opening template for the social media graphics i've been asked to complete for one of my newer clients um the client's business is called forever grand it is a store that sells different cute merchandise cute clothes cute accessories just a whole bunch of cute stuff so go check out forevergrand.com and see what it's hidden for but today we're focusing on this bomb social media graphic we about to make we actually made two but i'm gonna separate them into two separate videos so right now of course we're in photoshop we gotta go with rose gold i really liked the um opening font but i just wanted something blockier and bolder for grand to kind of make it pop And I chose this template because I just was in love with the texture. But we're going to use some other elements from other templates to really complete the vibe of this graphic. Um, the client wanted something very classy, but exciting at the same time. So, here we go. Okay, so now I'm just taking the stars from this template and adding them to the graphic that we're currently making. And of course, Everything has to be pink. It has to be pink. Okay, so this is the second graph we're going to use for elements. I loved the champagne bottles. So that's what I'm taking off of here. I also took some confetti from the background of that graphic to give this one a bit more depth. champagne bottles are on so we can get those on over to this graphic as well Now we're going to get the logo on so we can find where we want to place it. We're going to place it as a smart object straight from Illustrator. And then I had to get the... Um, 
URL to the website on. At this point, I thought it was too much pink, and that's why I changed the champagne bottles back to gold and some of the confetti in the background gold as well because it was just too much pink for a minute. Okay, now that we've made our um, graphic size, we're going to just translate that over into story size. Now I'm just adding this little black gradient to the bottom to just like showcase the text and um, make it pop a bit more. I'm loving the depth. I love the depth. The confetti is really doing what it needed to do. I felt like this needed something more down here, so I decided to add a call to action. Shop now, simple, straight to the point, forevergrand.com. Now, I really couldn't decide on the color of the text. I liked it this way, but then I was like, the only thing is that's a white shop now. I decided to try the shop now on this 
smaller graphic before I solidified what color I was going to make it. After trying to make this work, I realized that the the hierarchy of information was off, and that's why it wasn't working. So I moved the logo and made the call to action and URL bigger. And then I decided to add the same um, black gradient that I added to the story size. So just break up the text and the confetti and just make everything easily legible. Kind of blend everything together, make it more cohesive. Okay guys, this is how the graphic turned out. I told you I was indecisive about the color at the bottom. Since shop nail was the only thing that was white, I just made shop nail in the URL white, but I love how this turned out. It's super cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I really enjoy making this video for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.